guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing update number nine for projects using all my makeup. So this will be the last project where I'm putting in new makeup. And then after this, we'll probably keep on going and I'll put in all of the products that I marked yellow and we'll see how that goes. So I want to quickly, well, you know, as quickly as it goes, go through all of these products that I've been using for the last two weeks, show you guys what they were and how I feel about them. And then we'll go pick out the last of the new products and throw in some yellow products. So let's jump into it. Starting with the perfume. So I'm going to just get rid of this oil. This is by Origin or Ogen. I have a lot of oils. I don't need it. And I don't know how it ended up in there. So that one I'm just going to literally get rid of. And then for the perfumes, I'm going to keep all four of these and I'm going to give the colognes to Jay and I'll keep the DKNY one for myself. Okay. So these are the lip pencils. I feel like my lighting is like crazy nowadays I don't know what happened but I just feel like the lighting is all weird so this first one is the MAC patent polished lip pencil and it's really me that's that top one right there it's super shiny easy to throw on I really like it so that's silver I ran out of silver stars so it looks yellow but it's actually green and that's pretty much the same thing as silver so we're gonna keep that one the next one up is this elf uh, night to day duo thing in the shade need it nude and that's these two right here and I also really like that one so I'm going to keep that and then the last one is the bite beauty in pastille and I'm going to keep that one as well it's actually a really unique shade that I don't have anything like it so I'm going to keep that one for lip liners both of these are ones that I ended up really liking Colourpop Aquarius is an obvious favorite that's it right there sorry I'm plucking you off that's it right there that's an obvious favorite. And then this IBY Beauty one in blush, I really like as well. I put it on like over a lip balm today and I really like the way that looked. So I'm going to keep that one as well. The Aquarius got blue and IBY got silver. My hand looks crazy. Something about the way I'm filming today sucks. So I apologize for that. We're just a little off today. You know what happens. Alrighty. So next up we have eyeliners and I pulled out a bunch. So it might take me a little bit to go through them. We have two yellows, and so I'll have these two here. I'm not going to swatch these because they're they're just eyeliners. So the two yellow ones are the NYX Vivid Bright, Vivid Violet, and the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil. This one was really hard to apply, and I found that it didn't last that long, even though it's really black. And this one made my eyes feel really, like, stiff, like where I put it kind of dried really stiff. So... I'm going to give both of these another shot, but they're kind of on the chopping block. I wasn't a huge fan. And then the ones that I'm keeping are the Almay Intense Eye Color in Purple. That one got blue. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. And then the Julep One Pencil Matte Gel in Ocean Blue is my favorite blue liner. So both of those are staying. And then this last liner was the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Liner, and it is totally dried up. So going to get rid of that one. So we had three lip balms and I'm going to keep two of them and get rid of one. So this fresh sugar lip balm, this got green or silver. They're the same thing. This is just a really nice potted lip balm. This is in the, the lip caramel and it's absolutely really nice. Absolutely really nice. That didn't make any sense. The bite lip primer. I'm going to get rid of this because I know myself and I know that I'm not going to use this. I didn't reach for it once. I barely even reach for lip liner. So adding another step to it, I'm just not going to use. So that one's going to go. And then this one, this is the Hard Candy Blooming Lip Oil in Strawberry something, Zen Strawberry. This one got a yellow. I just, I just didn't find myself reaching for it, so I want to give it one more shot, and if I still don't reach for it, it's going to go. So we had four cream shadows. Two of them are the Stila Magnificent Metals in Smoldering Satin and Kit and Karma, and those are two of my favorites. So those one got blues, and I'm definitely keeping them. Then we have my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This got a silver. It actually worked better these last two weeks than it has for me in a while. That's green. Uh, I'm running out of stars, so I'm keeping that one. And then the Revlon Color Stay uh, 755, I actually didn't get a chance to use. So this one's going to roll over to the next episode. Oh, I didn't swatch those. You know what Steel and Scent Metals look like, right? Okay, so for powder eyeshadows, this is the ColourPop one in Midnight. It got a blue star. I wore this in some of my most recent videos. I'll have it written on the screen or linked up above right now. It is so beautiful. It's a black with like a green glitter. Then that green kind of white shadow below it is the Ardency in Nightlight's Power Powder. It's just way too pretty for me to get rid of. I like putting that on the inner corner, kind of like MAC Nylon. And then this one is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy shadow, and it's just so glittery. I gave it a red because 
every time I wear this, I end up with glitter all over my face and it's just not worth it. So that one's going to go, but both of these I'm keeping. So we had four powders for these two weeks. I'm keeping all of them, but let's quickly go through them. NYX HD Banana Powder. This is great for setting the under eyes. So I'm going to keep that one. That's silver. The Fiona Styles Loose Setting Powder in Madison. This is one of my all-time favorite setting powders. That one got blue. The Koki Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This one is also really nice. It doesn't have a ton in it, um, so I can probably just kind of get through that. So I'm going to keep it around and try to use it up. And then the NYC Smooth Skin, those have all been silver and blue so far. The NYC Smooth Skin, this is also silver or green. Again, there's just not a ton in here. It's discontinued. I really like it, though, and I'm going to try to get my use out of it. So all those are staying. So we had four highlighters, and one of them is yellow. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Lilac to Reality, and I just don't know if I'm going to use it. So I'm going to give it one more shot. Um, if I don't use it, in four weeks, it's going to go. It is really pretty, but I don't know about purple highlighter. Becca Champagne Pop and Becca Opal. Um, Champagne Pop is blue, opal is silver, green, and those are both incredible. And then the Sonia Kashuk, this is the Chic Luminosity Bronzer, and that one got silver as well. Okay, then my phone storage filled up, and I had to go deal with that. So um, the Temp 2 one, I just feel like it's not worth keeping. I didn't want to reach for it. Same kind of thing as the other one. It's just not worth keeping around when I know I'm just going to leave it sitting there. Um, the Magic Gloomy one, this is the L'Oreal Magic Gloomy Primer. This one got yellow. I'm going to give it another shot and kind of compare it to some of my other glowy primers. But this Cover FX one, this is the Illuminating Bait or Illuminating Primer. This one got a blue star because one, I like it on myself. And two, I like to use it on my friends that have dry skin. It's a really good hydrating, illuminating primer. So I'm going to keep that one around. All right, so we had th three cream highlights pulled out. And I didn't actually get to use this rose gold one. So we're going to repeat that one. Chances are, if I get rid of any of these cover effects ones, it'll be this one. But I do want to give it a chance. And then these other two, I'm keeping the Sephora Luminous, Radiant Luminous Drops. I absolutely love these. I don't think they make them anymore. Or if they do, they're on sale. But they're just really beautiful. I like them and I want to keep them around. So that one's blue. The Jordana Glow and, Gl Glow and Go Stick um, is right there. This is a really kind of like icy pink color. And I don't have a ton of cream highlighters that are that color. So I've made it yellow because I want to kind of test it out compared to some of my other ones. But I think I'm going to keep that one as well. So those are the two cream highlights. Oh, that purple is so pretty. I just know I won't use it. Oh, and then this also kind of goes with the cream highlights. This is the Temp2 Bronze or Shimmer and Bronze. This I love under my foundation and I think it'll be really nice in the summer too. So I'm going to keep that one. I honestly thought I was going to get rid of it, but it ended up getting silver. Alrighty, moving along. So we are on foundations now. So I'm getting rid of these two foundations. These are the Maybelline Fit Me. You guys have heard me talk about how I don't like these anymore. So I'm getting rid of them. I'm also getting rid of this NYC Smooth Skin, Smooth Skin BB whatever. I just don't use it. I don't reach for it. I don't know how to use it. And I feel like it's kind of similar to the Tem2 one, which I think I like better. So, and it kind of smells. Getting rid of that one. I'm also getting rid of the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse because every time I go to use this, it looks terrible. It's so orange. It's like chunky on my skin. And I know so many people whose like opinions I really respect like it, but it just doesn't work for me. So unfortunately that one's gonna go. And then I'm also gonna get rid of this hard candy drops. They're just not as good as the cover FX ones and I'd rather just repurchase the cover FX ones than try to make these work. Then the rest of the foundations I'm keeping. The Maybelline Dream Cushion, I freaking love this thing. It looks beautiful. It lasts fairly well for being a cushion foundation. Super easy to apply. Looks super lifelike on my skin. Lifelike. Looks super like natural on the skin and I freaking love it. That one got blue. The Urban Decay All Nighter Foundations, these got silver. These are one of my favorite foundations. I just, if I want full coverage and I want my makeup to last all day, I'm probably going to use these. I have two shades. I like having two shades. This one fits me more when I'm lighter. This one fits me more when I'm darker and I like them. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, I didn't get a chance to use. I told you guys that might happen, so I'm going to keep that one in there. The Clinique Chubby Stick in the nude, whatever it is, I really like this one. So I'm going to keep that one around. That one got silver. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting, I want to, I really like this one, but I think it's getting kind of old. So I gave it yellow because I think I want to put this back in a project pan and try to get rid of it. Especially since I'm moving and I'm going to have a pool, so hopefully I'll be more tan. Um, I think I'll be able to get rid of this this summer. So that one's yellow, which means I'm going to try to put it in a project pan, which is what I kind of plan on doing with a bunch of these yellows is if I decide I don't want to get rid of them, but I want to use them up and get my money's worth, 
they'll end up in a project cam. Okay, moving on. The setting spray that I had out is actually in my car. It's the, the Mario Badescu spray. I like it, but I put it in my project pan for the other one because I like it, but I have to make myself use it. So I figured a good way to do that is put it in my project pan and it's just getting kind of old. So that was easier. So we had a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and I'm actually going to be getting rid of a few of these. So let's go through them. The Too Faced Natural Matte, obviously I'm not getting rid of this. It has super wearable usable shades i love this and i'm going to for sure keep it it's great to travel even without that shade it's still really great so keeping that one i'm getting rid of the urban decay vices you guys i kept this for a while solely because of this purple shade but i'm just not going to reach for it out of this palette so i'd rather just try to find a single of this color from ColourPop or makeup geek or something it's really pretty but it's not crazy pigmented i'm not going to use the other shades so I'm just gonna get rid of it it's this wet and wild one I tried using it it's just nothing special it's nothing that I'm gonna reach for this small thing for so I'm gonna get rid of that one obviously I'm going to keep these singles I like all of them I think it's nice to have these kind of more unique ones down here more wearable ones up here and I'm gonna keep all of them and then I'm also going to keep the Milani everyday eyes in earthy elements I really like this one Again, more wearable, kind of good for travel. If I want a really warm look, I can just pull this out and do it all with that. And then finally, unfortunately, I'm going to be getting rid of this Winky Lux Kitten Palette because it's just not something I'm going to wear. I didn't like the way these shades looked on my eyes. I didn't like the colors. I felt like I had to reach into other palettes. So I'm just going to get rid of it, see if my little sister wants it. I feel really good about that. Getting rid of three eyeshadow palettes. I think that's the most eyeshadow palettes I've gotten rid of so far. So as far as bronzers, the e.l.f. bronzer palette. Um, this is yellow. I want to keep giving it a shot. I kind of want to figure out if I like all of them, if I like some of them, kind of which ones I'm using and see if they're worth keeping all of them or if maybe I can pop some of these out and kind of make a combo palette with this and the blush palette. So that one's yellow. I just want to play around with it some more. The Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, I want to try this in the not shimmery version, but the shimmery version is just way too highlighter-y on my skin, so that one got red and that one's going to go. And then the Ciate Bronzer in Bamboo, you guys, I'm, oh shit, I keep digging my fingers into things. I'm so tempted to buy a full size of this. I love the way this looks on my skin. I feel like I'm pretty close to hitting pan in this little sample, and I will possibly repurchase this when I get rid of the sample because I truly, really like that bronzer. And then blushes, we had four blushes and I'm keeping all of them. The one that got the blue star is this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. And this I have been wearing every freaking day. It is so pretty. It makes your cheeks, it's like peachy and a little bit shimmery, but not too much shimmery. I freaking love this thing. The Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blush. I really like this one too. That one got silver. And then the two Tarte blushes. I like both of these, so they both got silvers as well. I just really like blushes and I found that they were different enough that I wanted to keep both of them. So keeping all of those and none of those are yellow. All right, so I swatched all of the lipsticks on my hand. So let's go through them. This top one is the Revlon Fire and Ice. This one got silver because I have nothing else like that and I kind of like the way it looks on me. I'm also keeping the next one down. This is Maybelline Nude Lust. It's right there it's showing up really light on camera but it's beautiful and almost like sheer and comfortable on the lips revlon pink in the afternoon is that bright pink one in the middle and this one i like too it's silver i don't have anything like that i don't tend to buy lipsticks like that but i really like that one the l'oreal uh ferris nude is this one it's kind of like a purpley pink again kind of unique something i don't really have a lot of and i really like it this one is yellow this is the laura mercier in sensual I just don't know if I like how this applies to my lips so I, I want to give it another shot so that one's yellow the uh, bare minerals gem nude in honey bun this is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time so definitely keeping that one it's blue one of the only blues from this set the makeup forever in n9 is right here I think it's like a year list with better I really like it but again want to give it another shot possibly put it in a project and then the Flower Mix and Matte in Honey Dude. I have it swatched right here. So going vertically is the lipstick and horizontally is the lip gloss kind of over it. And I'm going to keep that one as well. It's kind of a unique formula. That one also got silver. So these two are yellow. I'm going to try them out. Maybe see if I like them. Maybe see if they're going to go into a project pan. And all the other ones I'm keeping. Alrighty. Lip glosses. Oh, I forgot the Milk Makeup one. And then there's the Milk Cream Lipstick. I love that one. I'm keeping it. It's got a blue star. Now lip glosses. 
Alrighty, so for the lip glosses, I think I'm getting rid of just a couple of these. One that I know I'm getting rid of, I'm not even going to swatch this for you. This is the Trust Fund Beauty in Method, well, I'll swatch it, Method to the Madness. It's just, I just don't need to keep it. It's not bad, but I have no attachment to it, so I may as well get rid of it. And then for the other lip glosses, there's really no point in swatching these lip glosses. I like them all. I'll show you guys them. Um, as we go lip glosses just don't swatch well the model co lip lacquer I love how shiny and juicy this makes my lips look for sure keeping that one that one got blue the dose of colors over the top lip gloss if you thought I was going to get rid of this you lost your mind it's blue limited edition KDX Desi love it the L'Oreal infallible paint this is the lip gloss in nude star I actually gave this one a silver I ended up liking it more than I thought I would because I thought it was going to be really dark so I'm keeping that one. The Milani Amore Shine Lip Gloss. I thought I was going to get rid of this one as well, but it actually looks beautiful on top of a lipstick. So I'm keeping that one. It's silver. Dior Lip Maximizer. I love this one as well. Also silver. Just a little sample. So I might, you know, do a project pan with it, but I honestly might buy this in the full size. I really like it, especially with the tint to it. Anastasia Beverly Hills Kristen. I'm keeping this one. It's silver. I just, but I just can't get rid of it. It's one of those ones that I don't use these because they're so pigmented, but for some reason I can't get rid of them. So I'm gonna make it yellow. I'm gonna make it yellow and we're gonna try it again. Oh, the last lip gloss is Revlon Sandstorm. This is beautiful. If you missed Over the Top or Fenty, it's kind of like those, like a really glittery, shimmery, juicy lip gloss. So I'm keeping six. All right, and then lastly is liquid lipsticks. I can tell you right now, I am getting rid of both of these L'Oreal Infallible Matte Paints because the shades just didn't work for me. Even mixed together, they just didn't work. They were a little bit patchy, just not like worth keeping. The lighter one is Skinny Dip and the darker one is Tongue Tied. They just don't work for me, so I'm going to get rid of them. I'm also getting rid of Smashbox Stepping Out. You guys, I'm so upset about this because this was something I wanted to love so badly. And if it stayed that color, I could work with it, but it just dries down so dark. It just doesn't work for me, so I'm going to see if I can give this to somebody else because I spent my money on it and I want it to go to a good home. Sounds like a puppy. The last one that I'm going to get rid of is the Oprah Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Napa Valley. I wanted to keep this just for the sake of having a sparkly purple lip lipstick, but I just, I'm not going to use it. The Honestly, the only thing I would use that for is on my eyes, and even then I'm not going to use it. So, I'm just going to get rid of it. <sighs> I hate it, I hate it, but I'm going to get rid of it. The Huda Beauty in Muse. So I thought I was going to get rid of this one, but I actually really ended up liking that color. Similar to like Dose of Color Stone, it just happened to end up looking good on me, which most of these kind of colors don't. So I'm keeping that one. That one got silver. Oh for Bel Air. This is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks, and I'm for sure keeping it. It got blue, which didn't happen very often with lip products. So Tarte Exposed I'm keeping as well. It's the shade down here. This is just a color that I could truly wear as a liquid lipstick and be happy with it. So I'm keeping that one. I'm getting rid of the Maybelline Super... Well, this one's yellow. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Ink in Heroin. I wanted to keep this because of the color, but it looks so patchy on my lips. So I'm going to give it one more shot. It's yellow, but I just don't know. And then the last liquid lipstick is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Liquid Lipstick. If you watched my underrated products video, I talked about this. This is in the shade Sensual, and I love these. They're comfortable, but they do dry down kind of matte, especially once you kind of like bump your lips together a little bit, and I really like this. So I'm going to keep that one. So I ended up only keeping four liquid lipsticks, which makes me kind of proud. So let's quickly go through the products that I am getting rid of. I'll tell you guys how many there are. So they are all in this basket. Let me count them really quickly. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 products. I'm getting rid of 19 products. I'm pretty happy with that. These are all going in the getting rid of pile. Let's go pick out the last of the products. So I know that you guys like when I pick for my collection, but I actually put all of my other makeup back in my drawers. So you're just going to have to bear with me as I pick out of the floor. <laughs> so let's start. We're done with the lip crayons. Let's pick out of our drawer of yellows. So for lip crown, I'm going to find the lip crowns that I marked yellow already. So three lip crowns, the uh, elf matte lip color in natural, the Tati and LOC wildest dreams and bite in leche. So 
two nudes and one red. Again, these are just products that I want to give another shot, see if I like them or see if I want to put them in a project pan or if I just want to get rid of them. Then lip liners. Again, we're out of those. So these are the two lip liners that I'm pulling out. The Bite Beauty one in 020 and the Sonia Kashuk one in nude. Okay, eyeliners. We are also out of those. So I'm going to pull these three eyeliners to retest. The Milani Stay Put one, I feel like I remember this one being really black, but I wasn't sure if it stayed. The Marc Jacobs Blacker, which I don't know if it's just because it's a sample size, but it just didn't impress me as much as everybody said it would. And then the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes, and I don't remember why. I just don't remember if this is one that I would reach for or not. So I'm just going to pull back out these three cream shadows. These are the only three yellow cream shadows that I had. I think most of them just ended up going. So we have two of the Maybelline Color Tattoo liquids in Bronze Sheen and Electric Emerald. These just, I found that they were kind of hard to apply, so we'll give them another shot. I probably will end up keeping the green one just because the eagles, but I want to see if I'm going to use that gold one. And then the L'Oreal Nude Fishnet Infallible Paints, I just don't remember, if, like, I don't feel like I used it as much as I thought I would, so I'm going to give that one another shot. Alrighty, powder shadows we do have. I'm going to pull out these three. These are the last three of the powder shadows. I've got NYX in Jaded. This would be another one that I could use for Eagles games, so I'm, I'll probably keep it around, but I want to give it a shot and at least see. The Lala Super Shock from ColourPop. Um, it's similar to another one I have, maybe Waddles, but it's super pretty, so I'm going to give that one a shot. I'll probably keep it. And then the last of my L'Oreal Infallible Shadows in Ice Latte. This is a really pretty lid shade, and I'll probably keep that one. So I think we finished up powders last time, but if not, these are the only powders that I see. So we're going to give all four of these another shot. The Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. This is a pigmented powder. I think I like it, but I will give it another shot. The Kat Von D one. This might end up being one that I put into a project pan. The NYX Hydro Touch one. I just don't remember if this works or not. Like every time I use it, I'm just so hesitant about it. So I'm going to try that one again. And then the number seven... Perfect Light Loose Powder. I just, it doesn't set my makeup really well. So I'm going to give it one more shot. And again, that might be one that I put into a project, although there's a ton in here. Okay, and then highlighters, these are all new. So we have five new highlighters. The Makeup Forever Starlit Powder in 13. This is beautiful, especially on the inner corner. I bought it in the Sephora VIB sale last winter, this past winter. Solely for an inner corner highlight, and I freaking love it. I've never used it on my face. Then we have the Vintage Palette. So this comes with a more pink shade and a more, they call it chocolate. So we'll see if I use both of those. If not, I'm just going to get rid of it because the formula is just okay. It's a little creamy, but it's a little bit glittery. So then we have Too Faced Pink Leopard. I should get rid of this because I never know how to use it. If it's a blush, if it's a highlight, if it's a bronzer. So I should get rid of it, but I probably won't. The Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick in Natural Nudes. Um, I haven't tried this one in a while, but I, it'll probably be a keep one because it's a really pretty formula, but that's that. And then the last one is this Milani uh, Spotlight Palette in Sunlight. This, I'm probably going to definitely compare it to the other one. This one is yellow and kind of decide which one I want to keep if I want to keep them. I just don't know if I'm going to use those other shades in there. Primers. We have no more primers. I used all of them. Primers, concealers, foundations. We need to pull all. So primers. So I'm going to pull these three primers. These are all ones that have been marked yellow. The Koki So Matte one. I just could never tell if this was doing a whole lot or not. The Hourglass Mineral Veil. I just don't know if it's worth the money. Again, this might be a Project Pan one that I just try to use up and see if I want the full size one. And then the Milani Prime Light. It's just confusing to me because the places that I want to put something pore minimizing, I want matte. So I need to kind of use that some more and figure out if that's something that I will actually use or not. I'm going to pull the Milani Retouch and Erase, which, and the CoverGirl Outlast one. I think I probably will keep the Milani one and I'll probably get rid of the CoverGirl one because this one kind of seemed like it had gone bad and I like the Milani. I'm going to pull a moisturizer. I'm going to pull the First Aid Beauty Oil Free Mattifying Gel. This one also got a yellow one on its last go round. Cream Highlights. Well, I guess there's this one that I just used. This is the Jordana um, Glow and Go. I'm just going to pull this one back out because I don't have any other cream highlights. So 
we'll give that one a shot. And then I'm gonna pull the ColourPop blush out as well. As for foundations, I want to pull out the Milk Makeup Foundation. Again, I have no clue if I like it or not. It's confusing to me. I want to pull out the All My Best Blend Forever Foundation. This is like supposed to be full coverage, but it's also not. So I don't know. That's two. Let's pull out one more because we have one left over. You guys, this Laura Mercier one, I, I just keep trying it because I want to like it so badly because everybody loves it. I just don't know. So pulling it out one more time. Um, I'm going to pull out the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water as well. This will probably end up going in a project pan again. So that's my setting finishing opening spray. And I'm going to pull this one back out as a setting spray. I might get rid of this one, but I'm going to give it one more shot. Eyeshadow palette. So this one, I have some left over. So they're right here. So the first one is this Blink Electric Eyes palette. This I'm probably going to keep because those are freaking beautiful, but it has to have its fair shot. The L'Oreal, what is this called? French Biscuit Eyeshadow Quad. The Studio Makeup On The Go, this is the warm one. I can't remember if I got rid of the cool one or I kept it, but this one will probably stay because it's kind of great for traveling. It has everything you need. This Z palette is actually a whole bunch of face products and like extra large eyeshadows. So I kind of want to see if this is something that I'll keep if I want to keep it in my eyeshadow drawer or if I want to put it in a face drawer because these are highlights. This, I don't even know. I think that's a highlight as well. This one could be, this is Ofer Glorious. It's supposed to be an eyeshadow. This is supposed to be an eyeshadow. It's also from Ofer. I think it's Truffle. But that could be a bronzer. This is, I don't even remember what it's called. So I just want to kind of go through these and see if they're things that I should keep. If I want to keep them in an eye palette or if I want to put them in a face palette, etc. Pixie by Petra and it's Judy Time eyeshadow palette. Uh, every once in a while I make a really pretty look with this and every once in a while I make a really look I don't like with this. So I'm gonna give it one more shot. I know a lot of people love it. I loved it when I got it. I put it in a favorites video I think. But since then I've made a couple looks with it that just didn't kind of wow me. So we'll give that one more shot. And then the last one here, this is the Morphe 35P. It has some shadows that have fallen out. So I want to see if I'm going to use this or not, if the formula matches up to what they come out with now, and if not, I'll just get rid of it. I just love having all these purples because I love purple, but I just don't know if I'm wearing those. So that's the last eyeshadow palette. For bronzers, we have no more new bronzers, so I'm going to pull in some ones that got yellow before, starting with the Rimmel Maxi bronzer. This one got yellow. Because I just don't know how I feel about it. So that's a good one to give another shot. More recently, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is the dark color in 330. I've been using this as a bronzer. And I think I like it. So I don't really know why. And then for another bronzer. Let's do this one. The Butter London palette. This has a bronzer, a contour, and like a... I don't even know what the fuck that is. A glitter bronzer. And it had a pen in it that I got rid of. Casey Holmes really loved this and raved about it. So I bought it. And I haven't used it a lot since. So I want to try that one out. And then also this time I want to compare these two palettes and just pick one. Honestly, I wish that I could mix these around. Because I know I like some parts of one better than parts of the other. I just want to try them both out and see if they're worth keeping, see if there's something that really like I could travel with and things like that. So blushes, I have these three. This first one is Milani Rose de Oro blush. It's one of my favorites, one of the first like YouTube purchases I made. And then we have two Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. This one is in Vintage Rouge and this one is in Plum Rose, two very different shades. So I'm excited to have those things I don't really have anywhere else. Lipsticks. I know you guys are probably not loving this. The Mariah Carey McKizzle lipstick. It's not going anywhere, but I'm going to pull it. The YSL. This one's red. This is 01. It's a red lipstick. I got this in a sample kit during the VIB sale in the fall. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in Beach Babe. I like this one. It's a pretty nude. The Bite Beauty samples. We have two. I have one in Honeycomb, which I'll probably keep. It's a pretty nude. And then I have one in Pepper, which is a darker one that I'll probably end up getting rid of. But I'm going to try both of those out. This was a Rouge gift. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the, like, a red lipstick. And then lastly, this is the NYX Turned Up 
lipstick in Flutter Kiss. This is an, another nude. So those are all of the lipsticks. And lastly, we have lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. So for the lip glosses, uh, this one from Victoria's Secret in Shiny Kiss. I don't think Victoria's Secret sells that anymore. This is a Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Her Glossy Cat. Uh, this is kind of old, so I might get rid of that one. Then the NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper in Elizabeth. I really like this one. Probably going to keep it. My last, bu last Buxom Lip Gloss in Sandy. This is one of the ones that has glitter in it. So this is the Full On Lip Polish. Then NYX Vivid Hot Lacquer in Charmer. This is really pretty. Catrice Lip Plumper Shine Appeal Fluid Lipstick in Kiss Me in the Sunshine. I really like this one too, and I didn't notice I had glitter in it until right now. This one only goes on top of one lipstick, so if I got rid of it, I'll probably get rid of this one. This is the Maybelline Elixir in Vision Violet. And then the last lip gloss is the Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals, and this is in Maverick. Really pretty glittery shade. And then for the liquid lipsticks and the last thing for this video, the NYX Slip Tease. That's a lip oil. I don't know how that ended up in the wrong place, but hey, we'll count it. Lip Land Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Tribeca. This one was on Hope Look, I think. The Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in uh, Be My Baby. Maybelline. This is like an overseas one that I somehow managed to get. This is Matte Amen. I think it's Maybelline. Oh, it's L'Oreal. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's really orange though. Sephora, this is a sample of a red liquid lipstick. The Lip Poudre from Koki in Rosewood, probably gonna get rid of that one. Colourpop Beeper, probably gonna get rid of that one. Bare Minerals in Ohm. I like this formula, so we'll see how I feel about the color. This is a Smashbox sample of their Always On Liquid Lipstick in Driver's Seat. Uh, probably get rid of that one, it's not a shade I'll probably wear. And then lastly, the Too Faced Melted Matte in Sellout. Let's pull these two. These are the two brow products I'm gonna use. The L'Oreal Brow Stylist shape and fill that's like their thicker pencil and the Urban Decay box because these are the only two yellow products and that is it those are all of the products that I'm pulling for the next two weeks and the last episode of this project with new products so make sure you stay tuned to see how I feel about these products to see swatches and to see me try out the rest of these products that have yellow stars on them so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys next time bye